hello friends and hello students my name is kushal pidal in this session we learn the internal storage in android so let us start first i share my laptop screen and fix the position here so you can watch better by my video lecture and here editive bundle eclipse i already open and window menu in android virtual device manager and select our avd and start and launch so when we can take design and coding so our device is ready in background so yes wait few second yes mm, very short yes the device is appear so i take as minimize and now close this window and in file menu we can take yes android application project and here uh, that is we can give the internal yes sir. so that is a api or you can say that technique so first uh, in my previous video lecture i take as a, a share preference so share preference then internal storage external storage sqlite database connectivity and network uh, connection so that is a file management we can say that store the uh, like notepad file we have to uh, write and read in this session so internal uh, and that is api or you can say that storage so yes internal storage that is our apps name next so here you can see that is a uh, our default workplace folder next yes so that is icon and background color so next blank activity next so main activity and activity underscore main and then finish so yes very short time uh, you can look here some processes ongoing that is status bar and after that complete the process or apps is create so yes i think now that is uh, very take some time yes some time taking long time because uh, that uh, sdk lot their internal components so that takes some time and our also device is ready you can look here so yes device is uh, and now our apps is create so i double click so full screen and that is hello world so i select and delete so now what to do so yes uh, uh, first we can take in edit text so that is palette window and we can take as yes plan edit text so first that is our write some content and then uh, uh, we can take a button so write and read yes we can take two button so that is a first right yes and then second button so that we can read so yes uh, here that is and below we can take as uh, yes medium yes that is a text view so i not uh, connect you can look here that is a relative layout so green line so yes that is a if uh, connect to button so that is creating type casting error but we can take as you can look now so yes now i uh, release that uh, text view so medium text view i select and now we can take uh, that is id so that is a etxt only one edit text so i give only etxt and that is a we can say that that width i view as a match parent and then you can see that is a first button so i give the that id bt and write yes so we can write some data into file and then that is a text of that button i also give the write and then uh, we can take as uh, yes on click event so bt and uh, write underscore click that is our on click event and now we can take some text color so as sign yes and then uh, we can say that uh, 0 0 f f and 0 0 so r g g for green color yes and then android so text uh, size we have to take so text size 25 dp okay so next yes uh, that is our second button so that is a btn and we can read yes so read the content of our file and that is i give the text that is a read and now what to do so yes uh, here again uh, that is same process in our previous button 
So that is a on click event. First, you can write so BTN read underscore click. Yes, sir. First, I take BTN uh, write underscore click. And now, uh, same, we can take some color and that is a text color. So, has sign 00, 0 and, and blue color. And then, yes, sir, that is a text. Uh, so, yes, sir, that is a text. So, yes, Android colon text size. So, that is a, again 25 dp. Okay, so now that is a uh, yes, uh, that is our text view. So, txt answer. And next, that is our you can take medium, but I take as a output. So, that is our output. And that also I take as a uh, match parent. So, that we can say that match parent. You can look here, match parent. So, all is well. Let us check. So yes, here uh, button one refers, so I change that ID. So BTN, we can say that right. And here also, that is a bill of that uh, first button. So here I also give as BTN right. Otherwise, that design is uh, disturbed. So I just let us check. Now graphical view, so you can look. Yes, perfectly, no any change. So yes, I take that is our uh, match parent. So perfectly, and that is also match parent. Okay, so I save perfect. Now, what to do? So, yes, now we can start to work coding. So, when we can enter some data and write, so that file, uh, so that is a file management. Uh, we can use some Java class and read. So, that data in text view that is read, and we can also see to that file. So, yes, first. That step, but design is complete. Now we can take uh, some coding in our Java file. So I double click and open the source. Yes, uh, that is SRC package and that is main activity dot Java file. So yes, here uh, we can write some code. So yes, button ID we have to not take, but uh, that is our edit text. So first I take edit text ID or that is a we can say that we can write the data so that i give the e1 and next text view is there so we can take as output to our file so text view i give the t1 and we can take the id from our dot java file so e1 find you by id yes then r dot id dot yes uh, that is a ttxt and then type casting is required because find you by id return is a view parent class so that is handler is a edit text child class and find you by id is a method of activity class and same way uh, text view so r dot id dot yes uh, txt answer is there that id and type casting is required yes and now uh, we can take a string variable so so I take as two string variables. So yes, sir, here first you can look here. So yes, perfectly. So now what to do? So yes, I take first to minimize this editor and I stop because uh, my screen in background. So I uh, again share my laptop screen and then now I open the editor of Eclipse. So you can visible yes now perfectly. So yes, you can look now here what to do. So first I take two string variable. So why require because we can give the file name. So fn and that is we can give any file name. So yes, sir, that is a, we can say that any file name. So we can say that temp or any name, txt. So that is a notepad file. And s1, that is I give the one string variable. So we can use the two variable. And now public void etn right underscore click so that is our button right button click event and that we have to yes first we can take as view so that is a we can import that package so that error is gone and now we can take uh, yes uh, here write some data so we can uh, take one user defined so only one uh, line in button click event 
so we can say that uh, uh, write yes or you can say that save yes save file so that is a user defined uh, method i create and pass two arguments so which two argument so first that is a append uh, that is our uh, file name and second uh, that is a we can take as e1 edit text so this is a get text yes and two string so when we can write the data that pass and now say uh, write that is public and here uh, that is a write the data so yes so that not require any return data type yes so we can just uh, yes uh, public void and that is a save at file name and now uh, we can take two strings so that is a first is f file name so we can write yes file name or uh, just fn so file name or fn is passed to here and we can take to that variable and comma so second that is a txt i give the text so it is a two uh, variable we have to pass so you can look now all error is gone and now what to do so we can take as try catch block yes otherwise some exception uh, generate so we can say that try yes and then catch so first yes we have to catch block and exception handling you have to know anyway so e and that is we can take first e dot print track press so stack so that is a stack algorithm push and pop so any error is coming so that is a uh, stack print by stack algorithm so push and pop so that is a stack maintain the uh, in exception handling that is error and now we can write so which class so yes so there are uh, five input and output so here that is a write so we can say that file output yes you can look here so file so output string yes file input string and that is java dot io package so yes that is a we can take fos that is a reference and now we can same open uh, so you can look here open file output stream and there are two arguments so that is a overloaded one argument and two argument so i take one two argument and first i pass the file name and second that is a mode so we can use as a contact class so yes that is a context and dot that is a mode so we can uh, that is a all mode share preference we can already already use there are six mode so mode underscore append we can append the data to our existing file mode underscore enable underscore write ahead logging so with logging you can write some data mode multi-purpose so yes edit all that operation private within a one application a mode underscore word readable and writable so read permission and write on outside the application so we can use as a mode private perfect and now what to do so here we can write the data so first uh, yes so that file name we have to already pass and mode we have to already specify now we can write the data so how to write yes so that is a fs yes, so where is the cursor so that is gone up so yes fos that is a file output stream and that is a write method you can look here but that is a overloaded and here we can uh, write the byte stream so you can look byte stream one dra so how we can write so yes uh, txt and that is a get bytes so that is directly convert string into bytes so we can write in the bytes so number of stream stream means collection of bytes so that right and then fos and then close so yes that is a right and now we can use as a post class so uh, that give the some message so get application context and we can say that file is save or that is a right and duration so cross dot yes long short or long so long constant member public static final variable that is uppercase you know, that is member of toast class and show so nesting then i copy this line so yes data is right means uh, file is right 
and if any error so we can also take uh, error in file or uh, error uh, in file or write time error uh, that is generate the error so error uh, write writing time error in writing time in file that type of or any message so yes that is perfect so our first that write data is uh, that uh, so only three line you can look here only three line so that is a we can four but uh, that is just a first class we can use as a message so now uh, file is right file is save that type of file is right that type of so you can save give the name and now uh, we can take our second button so that we can take as uh, yes uh, first uh, void and btn uh, read underscore click yes and same new class v we have to take and now uh, that is a read file and that is we can t1 text and set text so yes uh, here we can take as a set text and that is a yes perfectly so yes we can pass the file name fn so let us check so set text yes so get text and set text so yes here uh, set text uh, we can pass yes uh, and uh, that is a read so read file yes uh, we can take as a uh, read file so that is a yes so we can pass the yes, let us check so first you can take as uh, return data type set into text view so text view then set text yes so text view and then uh, we can take as a, a file name so that return data type we have to pass in file name so yes uh, we have to mm, it's perfectly so here we can take as a file name pass and that we can take as a read file that is a perfect name. so read file and that we have to pass to here so yes uh, where we have to define yes uh, after this yes here we can define so public and return is a string data type because we have to uh, our text view set set text view so that text in the uh, that file name so here we can pass only one argument and that is a read file so previous we can say that uh, save file so we can pass two argument but now we can take as a read file and that pass only one argument so that perfectly so read file yes and that uh, Yes, read file and we can nesting yes so read file and under the here we can uh, as a read yes that is a read file and then pass argument as a file name so yes one parenthesis yes that taking error but uh, we can solve yes so that is a nesting set text and we can take as a read file so where is read file to here and we can pass the string so that text you is set so now proper yes perfectly so yes that is giving the error because we have to not define to our method so that name is a read and file f capital and now we can take one string variable and that is a file name yes so fn so yes so i give the file f name yes any give the name so now look here that error is gone and now here is error starting because we can read the string so again i use as a try catch block because that is a exception so that is a file input string and file output string so yes exception is generated so yes here also i write the catch same uh, e dot print text stress so any error is coming so that is a Yes, and also I copy this toss class message into this catch block. So we can say that error in reading time. Yes, so error in reading time in file. Yes, that type of. 
and now what to do so yes sir uh, first we can use file output string now we can take as read so file that is a input string so you can look at the java.io package and then i fs and same open file uh, that is a input string and that you can look here uh, that is a overloaded but we can use only first one argument because we can word specify in the uh, here directly in writing time so reading time there are no require only we can pass as a file name so f name yes, and that semicolon and now what to do so yes error is uh, again that is uh, coming so we can solve after so how yes here we can use as a return uh, to our return so s1 so where is i define to above so you can look here first we can take a file name and one variable that is a string s1 so i use as a return data type so we can return in the string but uh, write and read in the byte string so now what to do so yes here i take size one integer variable and fis and we can take as available yes so that is a uh, file is exit so how many that return that bytes in integer so that is a method so it's available so perfectly now what to do so we can take as byte uh, 1d array and that i give the buffer or any name and allocate the memory so bytes and pass the size so that is a we have to take the size so yes bytes yes here i give the b small so that error is gone now what to do so we can uh, yes read so yes so we can use as a read read method so you can look here so we can read so yes i pass and that is a buffer i pass so file is read and now what to do so we can convert yes sir uh, that is a but i first close so fis but uh, you close that file and then what to do so s1 and give the memory so bytes we have to not read we can uh, give that is a text view we can get the output so we can convert bytes to strings so we can pass in the buffer so in uh, buffer it is a convert into string so that is a perfectly so there are only uh, we can say that uh, six line coding yes so you can look so file input string then uh, size we can get in integer how many bytes in the file and then we can convert in byte uh, 1d array byte buffer array that is name is buffer and read that buffer uh, in reading fis read method here we can use as fos write method and here we can fis so file input string read method is there and then file close and convert to bytes to string and pass to s1 so yes now i can use s1 so all is well and now uh, here we can also take the message so i copy that message and that is we can give here so file is reading that type of yes give any message so we can say that file is reading that type of message so yes read perfectly so i save now yes all are well so so when we can return is s1 so that fetch that is only one line you can look here and that is a set text so over text you get that text that is a meaning so nesting yes sir. so read file we can under the set text method and then first call that read file and pass to the file name fn yes and file name is fix temp.txt so you can give any name yes sir, that is i just testing or any temp.txt student uh, yes that is depend upon your data and now yes i think uh, you have to understand so very simple right we have to write only three or that is one message but three line is important and read time we can use as a six line so main is six and seven is our message so you can look here perfectly so file input stream and file output stream so you can see that is a io package here that automatically import and now i run this file and how to see that file where is that file so yes i uh, right click and yes our device is ready 
to look that is a uh, run and let us check our device is ready i open the lock and take that is you can look here process is ongoing so very few second our output is appear so after we can how to extract to our device like in shared reference we can extract to the our xml file and we can write only share preference primitive data type but here is a internal storage so we can write and read both operation take and we can also extract to our temp.txt file and open in notepad yes so let us take yes sir that is a taking some process so yes you can look now yes so i give like this is a internal storage so you can look here storage yes so internal storage yes now i can right button click so that is a yes file is saved that is a message you can look here now that toss and now i read so you can see that file is reading that is a message and this is a internal storage so when we can write that same data in the text view so that is edit view so we can press the right button and read so that is a text view so that is our layout and now yes i take the minimize so how to see your file yes that is a very important in android so yes first step in window menu yes and open perspective and that is a one tools ddms dalvik debug monitor server uh, so let us i click so yes i repeat window open perspective ddms that is a tools and click so yes you can look here so left panel yes here uh, that is a first you can increase your size and say that is internal so, uh, storage left panel select and here uh, so many tab is there thread heap location tracker so yes i take this window up so yes network uh, statistical file explorer emulator control and system for so we can select the file explorer yes this tab so yes that is open and here now you can select the data yes expand that button and again you can select the data yes that folder so data under to data and again size increase so so your size and same like in left side we can take our application name right side you can go to yes here that is a internal storage you can look here so i expand so left light here we can select that application here you can also internal storage and you can look here file yes that folder is automatically here and that our file you can look temp.txt i select and here one button you can see that pull a file from the device and push a file onto the device so we can uh, right hand uh, left hand side arrow and that is right hand side arrow so pull a file from the device we can extract to our file from the device emulator so i click so that is a save yes uh, you can save any folder or you, you can also change the file name and you can any select your uh, laptop pc drive and same folder like internal storage or your main workplace folder but i uh, simply home i save in desktop you can save anywhere any drive any folder so i save yes and now i close yes i think you have to understand so that is very simple step so you can select to here that is internal storage and same uh, first file explorer then data and data two time data and data so yes expand the data again data and down at the below that is a same uh, left hand and right hand here your application name or you can say that package name and class name all three are same in java and select that is a file folder and that your file any name that you have to give in the coding time and now you can look here there are two tabs so i click java so you can uh, take the main activity or your that is a or layout and yes you can select that ddms so again come back to here so yes how to close yes i right click and close option is here so i close and now we can see to our file you can see that is a temp so i double click so that is a notepad yes this is a internal storage you can look here 
that file is uh, automatically is creating not bad because we can give the extension txt so yes i hope you can understand so that is a internal storage in android so how yes very simple first i summarize that is a we can take the design view yes uh, here that is a text view two button and one uh, that is edit view and here text view and two button and then we can take the coding in line activity so here edit text view te uh, edit text text view and two string temp dot our file name we can fix you can give any name s1 that is our return variable so we can use in our user defined method and then we can first text view and edit view id from r dot file and there is only one line you can say save file file name and edit text argument pass and read button we can set text and read file method is called so that is a user defined that not inbuilt so save file is user defined method you can take two argument file name and text and file output stream fos file uh, open file output stream so when you can select that appropriate method you can take so you can look here context wrapper class that is a method open file and that return is file open stream so we can take as handler and that is two arguments so context dot mode is private and then txt yes where is txt so yes here that second argument txt get bytes so that file fos dot write and we can write that is a file name so this file is a fos variable and that is right and close and give the save file is save and that try get block is must be otherwise that is an exception uh, unreported pro close is bind up so we can give in try cat block and here just error is writing timing file if any exception is generated and also print that print that press and now what to do so yes sir uh, you can see that is a same uh, we can follow the file input stream and open file input stream only one argument that is a file name and here with uh, string return data type we can set the our uh, text view so set text and we can call that nesting read file name and only pass the file name so now what to do so file pass then fis available that method return in integer size we can take one array of bytes and pass the size so that taking the buffer so byte stream and byte stream will to read and that reading buffer so that read and then close file and we can pass the buffer so bytes convert to the string and then we can pass the s1 and here that is post class we have to same way as a above to message in writing time same as reading time so i hope you can understand so yes now i can write some yes sir you can uh, again call your application or yes i back button so you can look here i call uh, means uh, you can see that is our uh, app so that is a internal so that is the apps is create internal storage you can look here now again i click so data is clear otherwise you can uh, text box clear after writing so now i give see a uh, computer or any statement yes so this is a computer write so file is save and then read so you can look file is reading yes and that this is a computer so yes i hope you can understand and enjoy that is internal storage api that is also known as a option technique or method in android so there are five method share preference internal storage external storage sqlite database connectivity and network connection so i hope you can understand and enjoy this session so subscribe my channel or shook fee jala icon press the bell icon to never miss any update and thanks for your watching supporting and sharing my video lecture and hari krishna